Fire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you again from Tanga, the coastal town here in Tanzania. And I'll be going to Rasco Beach, Rasco Zone Beach to be exact, Rasco Zone Beach. And we'll be just checking out what the vibe here is like on a Sunday. It's very popular with the locals, family, young people, older people. Everyone come out here to have a good time. So I'll be going vlogging and getting a vibe of the place. So you don't want to watch this video till the end just to real get a feel of the beach vibe here in Tanga very popular spot so if you're new to the channel I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe Karibuni Tanga Karibuni Tanzania so literally I'm walking down the entrance to the Rasco zone beach now it is a pub public beach, but there is um, a fee you will have to pay to enter the beach. It's equivalent um, 1,000 Tanzanian shillings is what you will have to pay to enter this beach. And um, I guess that helps with maintenance and keeping everything neat and clean and tidy here on the beach. So this is what you expect to see at the entrance. So I'll see you once I've paid and I've got inside. I finally made it to the Rasco Zone Beach. I'm on the inside and let me just preference myself here. This is just one of the beach here in Tanga. There are many others which are even much more developed. But this one is a very popular spot, especially for the locals here in Tanzania. This is where you get a lot of the locals coming to especially on the weekends it's a really nice chill vibe now i just want to just tell you a little bit about some history if you look in the distance where my finger is pointing that way okay that is actually kisiwatra toten or toten island now toten island is the meaning of it is actually the land of the dead and that was the name given by the germans because of how many dead bodies and so on and corpses and all that stuff is actually on that island but apart from that there are also some ancient um, uh, buildings which were well they're derelict now just a, f uh, a few bits of, and pieces of the buildings are left but like their ancient mosque and different things so long ago this actually used to be an ancient city now the last inhabitants who lived on the island left around 1854 and i think the final rest of them actually left in 1884 and then that was it so a lot of the inhabitants moved to tanga city what is tanga city today but you can still visit this island and i guess see some of the ancient ruins that is there if you can find them um i believe you'll have to of course go to a tour company that could take you across because I believe the Tanzanian Navy do have a certain level of control on the island there. So that's Toten Island. You'll notice on the coastal region of Tanzania, there's so much history ranging from areas where kidnapped people were taken and then sold to other places. You have um, places not too far from Tanga, a place called Bagamoyo, which were actually, um, they had places where kidnapped people were brought to and chained and everything like that before they were taken and sold to other places so a lot of history is here really on the coastal side of East Africa which I feel is not explored as much in comparison to what we hear in West Africa now for the most part we hear about Ghana and so on but in East Africa may I say there is I think there may be even more of these ancient dungeons and places where kidnapped people were actually brought to which is commonly known today as the slave trade many of it can be found throughout the coastal regions to the point where some have not even been discovered as yet you know some of them are just covered in the mangroves and grass and different things like that but a lot of these structures still stands but anyways we are at Raska zone right now and it's definitely quite popular we'll see here in Tanga people are having a very good time this is what the vibe here is like on the beach you can see people are coming people are going there are little boats and ships in the distance so it's really nice here on the weekend Mambo Vipi Popoa 
So it's really nice here on the weekends to come out and get a feel of the place here in Tanga. So far the vibe has been great at the Rasco Zone Beach and I just wanted to give you a little idea of what the local beach is like here in Tanga. Now there are many other beaches in the area however this is just one of the beach where you'll find predominantly a large amount of the locals coming to socialize and gather together especially on a Sunday. So I really enjoyed showing you a little bit of it here today. You know there's a lot of children and different things so I don't want to film too much and a lot of people don't really like being on camera like that but nevertheless at least you get an idea of how the lo locals socialize and how they enjoy themselves on the beach. Now I do see some international people from Europe also walking here as well so you can definitely come by here Rasco Zone Beach whenever you're in, Tan in Tanga in Tanzania just to get a feel of what the local vibe is like there are spots where you can get something to eat you can buy ice cream you can get juices you can get water so you know you're spoiled for choice in terms of what you can get here and you can just relax under the kibandas there that that's those huts you're seeing there lovely thatched huts and you can just relax and enjoy the atmosphere apart from that tanga is great it got a really nice laid back feel to it really laid back feel but at the same time you could tell that there's a sense of business amongst the indigenous and the people here in Tanga you know you see businesses people are selling people are in the market and I'm really impressed with the amount of fruits that you can actually get in the area now coming from Dar es Salaam to Tanga one thing I'll notice once I've entered the Tanga region is the abundance of mangoes all the way coming up in the region or right up to Tanga City I was just seeing mango trees and coconut trees now if you've been to the Caribbean islands before they kind of have that type of vibe when you're coming here to Tanga a lot of people when they come to Tanzania they end up maybe just only staying in Dar es Salaam and it might be overwhelming like you don't know where else to go but be rest assured that you can explore the country there's more to Tanzania than just Dar es Salaam and I recently put out a video, um, the intercity bus station that's based in Dar es Salaam. It's called the Magufuli Bus Terminal. You can put type that in your Uber, ask your border border driver. That's the just ask for the big Magufuli bus terminal, and yeah, they'll take you to there. And from there, you can get various intercity buses to all the regions, mostly all the regions in Tanzania and also the neighboring countries like Kenya, Uganda, um, the Congo, they, some of them go to the Congo as well so you can make use of these services guys and explore the country. I'll definitely say um, when it comes to affordability in accommodation, thumbs up to Tanga, you can get from very low budget as low as 10,000 Tanzanian tea shillings per night which is around four US a night and you can get something which is a bit more um, up, a, up, up, up the standards a bit and um, that'll cost you around let's say 20 US a night you could get some for 20 US a night you could get something for 15 US dollars a night you know so it all depends on what you're, you're looking for and you can also go high-end and get something much more expensive and you can you know it'll be more like a beach resort where you can have your room near the beach and you'll see the ocean and different things like that so Tanga really has impressed me in terms of the variety and accommodation now in the Tanga region there are other areas like Pangani and unique thing about Pangani there are something the, the ruins there that you can go and see you can get a guide and they'll take you to various ruins and caves there are also some ancient ruins of mosques and different things that you can go and see now what you notice in the Swahili coast now Tanga go right up from Tanga up to Mombasa to Lamu to Malindi all these areas are known as ancient Swahili towns now very rich history 
with the Swahili people and that includes Tanga so you will find so much information and sites which you could learn more about in these regions here so it's definitely worth the visit now many people from the interiors of Africa like Congo and different places when they were kidnapped a lot of them were brought to areas like here in Tanga, Lamu and different places before being shipped off to the Middle East and other countries so you in today you have a mixture of people here and a lot of the places where they were took taken to you will find find them on the coast the coastal sides here in Tanzania and Tanga is one of those places where they were brought to a neighboring town before Tanga Bagamoyo is another place here where, where many of them were brought to and you can learn about that history the ancient ruins is still there today and I, I, I may say that it might be even more of these ruins in its pure form here in the east coast of Africa in comparison to West Africa when you think of West Africa you may hear Elmina Castle and different things like that but the east coast of Africa definitely has very rich history in terms of that then you can learn about these things if you are interested in learning about those things in terms of the hospitality the people are very laid-back friendly people um, it's, it's good if I like I always say my videos to break the ice to learn a few Swahili phrases and greetings it will take you a long way in connecting with the locals here and it's highly appreciated when you do make an effort to greet them in their local tongue so very interesting guys so I hope you enjoy the vibe here at Rascal Zone Beach and um, you, got, you got an idea of how the locals really socialize we'll be exploring more of the region you'll be seeing another video that deals with um, the city center I explored the city center I checked out the library and different things so you'll very much be interested in that to see what it's like I do trust you have had a joyful experience watching today's vlog my name is Wemba Imani and do consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe thank you for watching inspire for travel